Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Jonathan Lehman and this video is the fifth video in a five-part video series on GiftWorks Volunteers. GiftWorks Volunteers is an additional add-in that can be purchased and it works with all the current versions of the GiftWorks fundraising software. In the previous videos as part of this video series, I've already covered how you can use GiftWorks Volunteers to set up and manage volunteer profiles, identifying their skill sets and availability. How you can use it to set up and manage your job requirements. I've reviewed the screening process where you can accept your volunteers, making them available for service. And then how you can assign jobs to volunteers or volunteers to jobs and how you can manage those job assignments. And then also how you can re record the hours that your volunteers have worked. In this video, we're going to continue and show how you can use that information within smart lists, mailings, and the types of reports that are available f with your volunteer information. Let's begin by signing into GiftWorks. And if I've installed volunteers, I'll have an additional option on the toolbar called volunteers. And I'll also, within the smart list and mailings and report areas, I'll have additional options available. Let's click on smart lists. And I'm going to create a smart list. Volunteer information is available that can be used as selection criteria within donor smart list. So if I pick a donor, donor smart list, click next. I'm going to click here to select a category. And you'll notice I have an additional um, category section down here called volunteer information. And within that, I have different criteria that I can use to select donors for a donor smart list. So I, I can use the volunteer information as a way of selecting um, donors on a donor smart list. So for instance, I could click the skills category here. And I re remember that the, the donor I was working with, the volunteer profile I was working with, was one of those was Jackie Lehman. And we noticed that we had given her um, a skill of filing. And so if I select filing and I click next, you'll see that I have three donors that show up that have those, those skill sets. And you can see that Jackie shows up as one of those. So there's several different criteria. There, there's several different criteria that you, can, that you can use. One of those also that I'm going to actually create a smart list is I can say I want to know everyone that has that has actually worked some hours and has actually had some volunteer hours. So I'm going to say total hours worked is greater than zero. So you can see that I got a list of 28 donors that have volunteered to my organization. I can actually customize the column list. And you'll see that at the towards the bottom of this, I also have volunteer information I can put uh, I can include on my donor smart list as columns. So I can have I can include the volunteer status, who their manager is, their screen date, hours work, things like that. In this case, I'm going to include their volunteer status, the volunteer manager, manager, and the hours worked. So if we go ahead and click next. I'm going to call this vol volunteers with hours work. And I can save that smart list. So you can see now that if I look at this list, I can find Jackie Lehman, who we know has volunteered, had some hours, and you can see that she's a Remember her status was available and her, her manager and it shows the to total total number of hours that she has worked. So with the vol inf volunteer information that you track within GiftWorks Volunteers, it, it's used to extend the functionality of the smart list within GiftWorks. So again, you can use it volunteer information as criteria for donor donor smart list and also uh, you can put some of that volunteer information as additional columns on your donor smart list. So you can take any of your donor smart list and add vol those volunteer information that volunteer information that's available as columns within those donor smart lists. Let's show how I can use that within mailings. So if I go to the mailings section, let's say we're going to send send a mailing to all those persons who have uh, contributed some sort of hours. We have recorded hours for them within within volunteers. So I'm going to send mail to a list, to a smart list, and I'm going to use that smart list that I just created, volunteers with hours worked. I'm going to click next. And we'll just send letters. We'll, so we'll select that. So you can see here, here's my 28 donors that have volunteered hours. So I'll click Next. And I have created this volunteer thank you letter. You can see right now it's kind of a generic letter. It just says thank you for the hours you've contributed to our organization. And it just talks about appreciating the ways they've helped us accomplish our mission. 
I want to show that with the mailing fields that we make available, the volunteer information we make available within the mailing section, you can, you can personalize this letter with specific volunteer information. So rather than just being generic about thank you for the hours, we can actually insert fields and we have another category here called volunteer information. So within, so if we have the volunteers add and install, we get additional information that we can insert into donor mailings. So in this case, I would say, well, I want to actually, I want actually on the letter put in the total hours that they worked. So I can insert that information and maybe I want to actually include the actual job assignments that they worked. So I actually have a table available. I can actually show them a list of all the of all the job assignments that they ever uh, they've had within um, GiftWorks volunteers. So we have different ways that we can personalize personalize the letter. Uh, it has to do with some of their volunteer their volunteer profile information. We have um, some information on like the most recent activity that they've done. We, have, we can report the hours. Uh, various total hours or this year this month and we have a few tables that we can show we can have a, a table of recorded hours all their job assignments with the current job assignments so in this case I'm just showing how you can within this letter personalize it thank them for the total hours they worked and also um, show them the, the assignments that they that they've been part of within our organization so I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna click next I'm gonna actually preview this mailing and let's we go through until we see Jackie's. So we hear that Jackie, if you remember, she contributed 20 hours, and we'll show her. We show her the the job assignment that she had as office assistant. And if I go through here, you can see that we're showing them if there's multiple assignments that the person had. We were actually showing those multiple assignments. So you can see how we can personalize our mailings, thanking our volunteers for the ways that they've contributed to our organization, which is a powerful way of maintaining that relationship and thanking for them for the ways that they've contributed to your organization. So we've seen how we can we can use the volunteer information within S S Donor Smart Lists and, and, and how we can use those Donor Smart Lists um, also to, dr to drive mailings, and those mailings can be personalized with volunteer information. There's also reports available in the report section if you've installed vol the volunteers add-in, you'll have an additional option, view volunteer reports. So if we click on that, we have additional reports available. Some of the reports, I'm not going to go over all these reports, I'll go over a few. You have, you have reports that list all your volunteers by, by status, so you can pick all, you could actually select just your on-screen volunteers if you'd want to work with that list. Or, or you can just have it show all your volunteers and they're sorted by the status. You can, of course, like most of our reports, uh, sort them the columns, sort them by manager, do different things with those reports. So that's a list style report. You can al also list your jobs by job status. So you can list, uh, list all your closed jobs. One, one of the interesting parts is to see how your volunteer activity is, um, how, how, how you're doing at, at, at nurturing and, and getting people to volunteer for your, for your organization. You can look at your volunteer growth. And you can see how over time how the number of volunteers has has grown. So the various similar kinds of reports we can do things within bar charts and line charts. The similar functionality you would have within GiftWorks, it, just using volunteer information. You might want to have a report of the top 20 volunteers. These are the volunteers that you might uh, want to continue when you have a, a big activity that you need to volunteer activity with here's the volunteers that have contributed the most hours to your organization these might be um, volunteers you'd want to go back to in future situations where where you have um, additional needs within your organization you can report on project hours by uh, I mean, w volunteer hours by project or or by job and these are more of our some of the more graphical reports where you can see within a bar start a bar chart format you can see the amount of hours that have been contributed per, per month you can change your date range you can filter the, almost all these reports by by smart list you can select individual projects so if we want to just see our administrative project which is the one we were we were working with you can see the hours that have been contributed per month you can also change that to a list style. All the similar functionality we have in other reports within GiftWorks. We also have two summary reports. We have a volunteer summary report where it's, it's you select for the volunteer summary, you select an individual volunteer, such as Jackie.
and select Jackie, and you can see that we have a summary of Jackie's volunteer history and her volunteer profile information, her availability, the skill sets, the screening information, and the current and past jobs. Somewhere with the job summary, we can look at the office assistant job. And again, it's a summary status of, of that job. Shows the details that we set up for the job, the requirements of the job, how many of the assignments have been filled, the skills, what the dates needed, the skills the required and desired, and also the volunteer assignment history. So you can see that once we have used volunteers to to track our volunteers. We have lots of powerful tools we can use for to maintain those relationships with our volunteers. We hope this volunteer series has been helpful and we encourage you to check our other resources at www.missionresearch.com. Thank you very much for watching these videos.